It is 9.40, time to get some breakfast. Because after a long day of hard work, yesterday, early night, time to have breakfast here at the Taj Hotel. With a view on Table Mountain. Bring the pasta. Yes, thank you. All right. Okay. Omelet. Uh, omelet. I'll bring it down. This on okay. The box. Super. Thank you. I thought I was missing something. It was the omelet. It's pretty damn spacious, I would say. Maybe for next year during Africa Calm would be a good option. And to here? Yes. Oh, okay, super. Do you want to I'm very it? close by then. Yes. Okay, super. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. Okay, bye bye. Until a few weeks ago, I've never heard of the company Streamwide. Now they seem to play a role in the mission critical environment. Uh, the company is exhibiting here at uh, Mission Critical Africa and at this point in time I'm having a meeting with them at the booth at the exhibition floor. They just joined the TCCA. I'm gonna ask them why they joined the TCCA, what kind of solutions they have, what they do in Africa and why they're so excited. Recently you joined the TCCA. Exactly. What is exactly Streamwide doing? So, um, in the beginning um, we were doing um, telecom solutions for telco operators. Uh, so we were providing mainly um, prepaid systems, voicemail system, VAT solutions mainly. And um, in the last two years we uh, launched a new product line which is um, uh, critical communication solutions, uh, mainly the MCPTT, Mission Critical Push to Talk. Uh, for public safety and security uh, entities and then um, it was um, interesting for us to join the TCCA and be a member of the TCCA in order to um, in order to uh, be a, an active uh, member and develop more the industry. Okay, so you have an MCPTT solution based on LTE, is that correct? Exactly. Okay. So um, we have the, an MCPTT solution over 4G LTE and uh, broadband networks uh, of course, um, it is an all-in-one system providing multiple services. Um, of course, the PTT and group communication, but also geolocation and tracking, video calls and video streaming. Um, but we are also interoperable with LMR networks, so we are able to integrate with um, Tetra, Tetrapol, P25 and uh, DMR networks. And that's what you find back in the TCCA, or all these organizations, all of this knowledge base is very important for you, right? Exactly, exactly. This is 
Are you dressed okay? Alright. Are you I dressed look, okay? No, I look Should you look your badge? You want to take off your badge? You want to take off the telephone? <laughs> telephone? I've got to slim 20 kilos, nothing more. No. <laughs> No, we, we take it. We, ta we just take this off. We just take this off. We, uh, this is one of the last interviews at day two, actually. So, um, Jose Costa, you're a long way from home, are you? That's true, Gert. Very yes. long way from home, as you also. Uh, That's right. Coming from uh, Europe to uh, so far in uh, Cape Town for mission, particular Africa is quite exciting, but it's a long trip. Yes. You just told me you, you spoke to all of your customers that you would have expected here to be. So that's a hundred percent score, is it? Until today, yes, uh, we were expecting maybe one hundred and twenty with new potential customers, but we don't have seen uh, enough, unfortunately. So, so it's not always about the fact that it's, it's quiet on, on on the exhibition floor. It's mm -hmm. about the quality of customers you get to your, your booth, yeah, is it? Totally true. Uh, I agree uh, 100%. It's mainly the quality of the attendees that you get that yeah. make a difference in a fair. You can see uh, uh, hundreds of people in one fair and doesn't bring you uh, any business. Now, now, just beside you, I see something laying here. But this is a DMR, right? EDMR. EDMR. Well, yeah. So, wait a minute. We have DMR tier yeah. one. We have DMR tier two. Mm. We have DMR tier three. Mm. Uh, some people call it a little bit different. DMR yes. tier three. Now you have EDMR. Yeah. That is not a. Is that according to the DMR standard, or is this just something like ELT, what Huawei is doing, and you got an EDMR? No, it's uh, quite different. It's uh, our own protocol that we have developed. Uh, our main customers were in Europe uh, uh, working on the VHF low band, yes. on the 30 to 50 megahertz and 66 to 88, and uh, doesn't want to change your frequency, doesn't want to go up uh, until uh, 160 or 400 meg. So, uh, thinking on the needs that they got, we have developed a specific technology. It has been running more or less at the same time than the classic DMR. And uh, when we uh, achieve that technology and put it on the market, the name of DMR was already uh, in use. So uh, we uh, we see a lot of similarities with DMR, but uh, we truly believe that our technology give uh, a plus to the narrow band. That's why we have called it EDMR for extended DMR. All right. All right. That's a clear explanation, is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> so, so is it, is it? How new is this? Uh, it's uh, our new uh, hand portable that we are uh, developing currently. That will be uh, available in the market in 2018. Oh, so we can't do a drop test with it? Uh, you can. You can. Yes. Well, <laughs> we don't know if it's still working. Right? <laughs> you can. It's not operative. This one. So All right, no, no okay. problem. <laughs> it's, a, it's a test. Okay. Nothing so we more. don't do any. Do, do, we don't do any drop test with test products. Uh, no? This one is for uh, 80 and 160 megahertz and we will provide a, a version in 40 meg in 2019 uh, and the mobile uh, series is also our third generation will be uh, right now in the market at the end of this year oh, and you made a success out of that already because, oh, yeah. so how was the feedback on the show yeah very good very good feedback regarding uh, our new range of products for uh, the customers who already in south africa use our products in uh, in 80 megahertz band mainly Probably have heard about speed dating, speed networking. Well, this was a speed lunch. I don't see the power. You can just put it in, but I don't see the power. I think you just have to put it in. Oh yeah. Just put it in the charger, and it will charge automatically. Okay, thank you for taking care of my stuff. No problem. Okay, see ya. Bye okay. bye. Bye. Paul, I'm bringing it back to you because I wanted to take it away because it's so unique. Oh, but absolutely. not everybody knows exactly what it was. But that's your LT Note Pico Cell Atex. And that is something that is pretty unique, is it? It is, yeah. In, the, in this market, we're focusing on mission critical applications for LTE. So what we've done, we've got a lot of oil and gas uh, customers and mining customers out there. So we've developed an ATEX version of the uh, LTE Pico cell. So, so where, where would somebody deploy that? Uh, uh, oil refinery, chemical plants, anywhere where there's a fire hazard, but they want small cell, high speed mobile communications. It's oh. perfect for that application. <laughs> Africa.
that clone has been finished, the whole exhibition is done. It's finished, nothing anymore. Most of the people who did travel to South Africa stay one or two days extra in order to experience the city of Cape Town. I can completely understand. And take a look there. These, these guys are just finishing off their work. I think I can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> there were 15 people in a bucky. Um, road safety. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, nothing has changed in 20 years. That's what you saw 20 years ago as well when I lived in South Africa. This gentleman knows exactly the right place here in Cape Town to have a view on the city. Take a look.